Chelsea and Riley here. We are about to go on an adventure of a lifetime. We're departing for one month. So we are going to be hitting up all the icon destinations in that area. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Nebraska. To Nebraska. Nebraska, Nebraska. We made it to Nebraska. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. And then it's the mountains. For those van lifers out there, I'm sure everyone already heard of this app called iOverlander. It's kind of cool. It tells you like all the places you could stay, but there's also on there like fill stations and tons of other information. Like if you wanted to pay for a campsite, and typically they go for like 20. 30 bucks but we'll try to do this without paying you can only plan so much a lot of it is like on the fly yeah so i went to go scrape off the frost and i went outside to go scrape it off there's nothing on the outside so the frost is actually on the inside same with on the dash too that's all on the inside eh oh really yeah yeah i, I feel like we maybe froze some pipes maybe. anyways well let's, we're gonna have some breakfast and hit the slopes Chelsea, hey where'd you go get nipped lfg baby Let's go. So we're already needing a bit of a water break. Five minutes in here. The altitude is no <laughs> joke. We're dying. What lodge is this? I don't know, halfway it's up. It's halfway up the mountain. So anyways, we're just taking a bit of a break. Tired as all hell? Yeah. At a basin, taking lunch, finding it hard to get back out there. First day out. <laughs> First day out of 22 days. A lot of days out, but I think the altitude is getting a little bit to us. We're drinking lots of water, staying hydrated, and we'll get out there and do like maybe five more runs and call it a day. Swagging it easy. <laughs> So Riley and I agreed that at the beginning of this trip, we were gonna document the good, the bad, the ugly. Basically, as we were leaving the ski resort, we noticed that there was no power behind the acceleration in the van. And it's kind of sketchy just because we're driving through the mountains and driving uphill, you kind of need that torque, you need that power to get up the hill. We called Mercedes and the Mercedes people said to unplug this one thing, wait 10 minutes and plug it back in. So that's what we're waiting for right now. Riley, how you doing? Good. I have to go to the washroom too. And we were on our way to go dump the black water. So um, yeah, just perfect timing. Because <laughs> the black water's full. The place where we're dumping it happens to be up this crazy hill. So we stopped halfway up the hill. Let's see if this works. We'll unplug this, what he says. She's out. So waiting 10 minutes. Got two more minutes to wait. And then we're plugging this puppy back in. So we're really hoping this works and everything's all good. We're in a spot that if we we could stay here the night. Yeah, that's a pretty nice stop, spot to stay. The only thing is I have to go to the washroom so bad. <laughs> like, I'm talking number two. I'm debating going out in the woods. Actually, people are, this is like a scenery place, so people are taking a whole bunch of pictures. <laughs> that would be hilarious if I'm just like out there pooping. They wouldn't see me. I got that metal knee on my system. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> it's so quick. Okay, it's time. Okay, she's on. Okay. Key not detected. Oh, come on, baby. 
Okay. Did he say to leave it? Running no, from it? No, he said this. that literally is all you can do. Otherwise, you bring it into the mechanic. No, it's still lit on. <laughs> hey, what's up? Everything's peachy over here. I don't... We might be out of the woods, but I don't want to say yet. Just because it seems like it's okay now. We were also going downhill. Yeah. But it was a noticeable difference. Going up the hill would be the best test. But I, I noticed like it had a, its original pep to its step. So we're here at the dumping station. Now we have another problem. The hose is very short as well. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not even recording. Was I not recording that whole time? I'm literally... Anyways, uh, we there wasn't a puck in our little thing the whole time. And it was just straight up urine. He was emptying. How long is the hose? <laughs> okay, you need to get closer. You have the hose? Where's Where do we put the hose? What? I gave you the hose. Hose is back there. <laughs> yeah, that's not fitting. Oh wait, no, hold on, that won't even work. Oh, no, that, no, that won't even work. Well, maybe it's the other side. We gotta buy a hose. We gotta buy a hose. Why? This won't go on there? No. Even if you unscrew this? Sorry, my bad. You gotta get closer. You gotta get closer. Keep going, keep going. Hi. It's good? Yep. Nice. So it's filling up now. What an eventful day. So there we go. I'm pretty sure city water. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I think I got this wrong. I think I want power fill. Okay, I want power fill. Oh yeah, that's powerful fill. Do you want me to turn this on? Uh, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what to do. <laughs> Don't want to make decisions. See if the sensor says that now it's like closer to the fill. Huh? I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> it still says one third. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back into power fill. I don't know what's going on here. I don't hear any water going. Maybe she's full. It says one third. I feel like we should have known more about this before going and doing it, but that's the fun of it, isn't it? Oh! What? That sounds like something. Two thirds! Oh, okay, okay, so she's going up. Let's just leave it. Hey. Hey, you and I, we, uh, we're pretty good. <laughs> we're just, we're just rookies at this. So. We're so inexperienced. <laughs> it, it's like, it's like there gets air trapped in. I gotta like wiggle the valve a bit or something. Full, full, full. Full? Okay. Eh, for okay. full. Okay. You know how to empty that really good, don't you? Blow it? No. What? Stand oh. back. Swing around. <laughs> and it's fun. There's tons of glycol in there. I'll check the tank. This is the best part. Empty! Oh my god. What a freaking adventure. Yeah, this is, this puppy's back to normal now. Back in action, baby. Okay, where are we going now? Are we just... <laughs> back to that Walmart. Is that it? I think so. Let's call... Let's call her night. <laughs> Let's call her night. We've had enough adventure for today. Okay, you want to plug her in? Yep. Oh my All gosh. Right. Deuces, we're gonna... Deuces. Yeah. We'll catch up with you later. What did you say? The heater's got a system fault code, code 13. No ignition. What does that mean? I don't know, but it's a little late for this. I think I'm just going to cycle power. <laughs> Let's hurry up and go to bed so it's tomorrow. <laughs>Last night was a bit of a situation. It's a just challenging because this is not only our transportation, but also our accommodations. So <laughs> There's always a solution, I guess, but uh, it costs money. And plus you got to figure it out, which is extra stress on it. But they ended up being minor things, but it, it was something to do with the heat, which if you have no heat, we could be okay for a night like yesterday. But Cause it was uh, only like negative five Celsius. Yeah, we're going into some colder temperatures, so it'll be a little bit more challenging. The other thing was the vehicle was in like this limp mode, so it's just like not as much power. Then we went to the dumping station and that was a, another thing, like just <laughs> just an eventful day yesterday. Yeah. And I thought after riding, we'd be like, okay, well, we got to- Relax, yeah. what are we gonna burn, do? Burn some hours, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, all part of the adventure, so mm -hmm. we know what we signed up for here. So what's going on outside right now? It's just with the heater again, but it seems to run. It just keeps going into full code, so. I don't know, it's a work in progress. The furnace, the Timberline furnace is equipped with efficient, compact diesel gas line burner. The burner is designed for optimal use in all climates, which is good, including altitudes up to 
ten thousand feet. Cool. We're a little higher than that, but I mean, not much. There's nothing to say anything about the fault code. Cycle power and see what happens, I guess. We are at Copper Mountain this morning, and Riley will give you the stats on that. Got a eight out of ten on World Snowboarding Guide. It's around 800 meters of vertical drop. So it's not crazy, but it's a decent amount. And uh, it's got Woodward, so it should have a decent park. And apparently there's four bowls. I bet you the bowls aren't gonna be the best just because there hasn't been a lot of fresh snow. I don't know, we'll try it out, but I'm not expecting much out of that. And apparently there's some good tree riding here. So we'll check that out as well. So we'll catch you on the slopes. Deuces. Deuces. Okay, we're on the gondola. Kind of a cool system they have going on here. So on the same lift, you can either get on the gondola or get on a chairlift. So there's two separate lines. We picked the gondola, but as you can see on the same line, there's also chairlifts. So you can see there, it's like gondola, chairlift, pretty interesting. Ready for a great day of shredding. It doesn't look too busy. I mean, it, you know, it's a Tuesday, so that's probably why. Anyway, yeah, we'll catch you in there. So we just finished our day at Copper and it was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty good. It reminded me a lot of Killington. Mm -hmm. Woodward was awesome. Phenomenal. I would say normally from one day of riding at a place, you can't really get a feel for it because, you know, you're kind of exploring. You're not really familiar with the mountain. But this place, for some reason, like two runs in, three runs in, I was like, yep. Seems like a lot of people here are just like asking, hey, where are you going next? <laughs> <laughs> Which is like... A little odd, you don't know like how much you could trust someone when their first words is, hey, where are you going next? But uh, we ended up trusting these two guys, Rob and Gabriel. Gabriel, you know, we shared a lift with him and then he wanted to share the next one and the next one. And then sure enough, we're hanging together on a tow rope. So he's been there for four years as like a ski patrol personnel. So they took us up to like the peak and then like Riley said, the tow rope. Eventually... We lost them in the Enchanted Forest. So Rob and Gabriel, you know, it was a great run. <laughs> we had a great time. We actually hit up that same path, that same tow rope, three more times after we lost you guys. And it was great. We were kind of hoping we ran into you again, but if you're out there, you might have moved. You, you might have moved on to some other borders, and we understand. We understand. <laughs> we, we totally understand. Copper, for, personally for me, top five. It was a great place. Like, pretty low-key free parking which is nice the village was super nice i think it just had a lot to offer and if they got like a pow day i think it'd be even better oh yeah as far as i think i would actually still have killington above copper mountain why I is think. that killington I, you know what i just maybe haven't seen enough of copper mountain so we might come back on our way we're kind of doing like a loop so we might come back into colorado just because we weren't able to see enough of it i just find copper it's very similar to Killington, but also it has like a peak that you can go to and bowls that you can board true. down. True, yeah, true. There's no such thing as bowls out, out east, so. No, just bowls of cereal. So we got our copper sticker. So now we're oh, going to add yeah. that to uh, the collection up here. Two down, 13 more to go, I think. Something like that. Hey, thanks for watching. Join us next time where we explore Aspen and of course run into more van issues. We would love to have you along for the journey. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one.